Mark, how long are you visiting Earth? <laughs> <laughs> I see it as a novelty product. I can't see you ever making money with this, so I'm out. Well, you know, there's the uh, Easy Bake Oven out there. We're not next to somebody's bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. You don't know where a kid's going to put the Easy Bake Oven. If you see a squirrel on your bird feeder and he wears out his welcome, just press the remote control and deliver a harmless static shock correction <laughs> that is similar to walking across the carpet and touching something. Oh, <laughs> I have created a product that will keep your sticky notes in place and organized while working at your computer. This example here is an example of what we're all used to seeing. There's been no change in it. There's been no solution to it until today. For you Stop to the madness. Are you out of your mind? Yes. Are you crazy? Yes. Who would give you 10 bucks for that? A, lot, a, piece of of a lot of people. I don't think your product is worth what you're asking, but I do think you have a product there. And I think for $10 a pop on a QVC type what station. What planet did yeah, you come from? No, let me tell you, I think you could sell it. Well, you see the flies that they accumulate. Well, this, you don't see the flies until you actually look to see what you've caught. So, I designed an all-natural fly trap, and right away, we were successful catching them where they feed and breathe. You're, you're kind of creating the problem by leaving the poop outside, aren't you? He's your spokesman? He doesn't even have a dog? If I did, I'd be the first guy in line. Now, we know squirrels are extremely cute, and they need to eat, too. But they are five-pound gorillas, and they are hogs. So, Mike, Mike D., just to be clear, I'm sitting in my house. Yes. I see the little squirrel eating. Yes. I think he's had too much. I zap him. But that means I have to be watching That's the bird That's our feed. second biggest objection that I get all of the time in public. What's the first? That you have to be watching. It's too expensive. And that's why I'm here. But Mike, wouldn't the animal rights people get all over this? You're, all, you're electrocuting the animals. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Edwin Heaven. I'm the creator of Throx, the cure for the missing sock. So when you lose one, you still have a pair. Have you patented this? You cannot patent a package of three socks. Right. We're seeking five million dollars. Whoa. That's a lot of money. In exchange for 34% equity in our production. So boys, you want five million bucks to make a movie. I know how you feel that, you know, you think that filmmaking is a crapshoot, which we completely understand. Essentially what we'll be doing is we'll be putting a, a, a script together, which is in the process of being rewritten. You don't even have a script yet? You know, I'm a huge motorcycle fan, and there's been such a lack of movies made about them. With your help and your business acumen, together, we can develop this new technology and leave a lasting legacy of goodness. The waste products are the mineral precipitates, manganese, and gold. What? gold and i'm an inventor with over 1000 inventions and the technology i'm offering you today is the sullivan generator the gold is left in the ocean introducing cougar energy drink for women isn't that cougar typically older because she looks younger than you are well she's been drinking the cougar the, <laughs> the cougar <laughs> truck for a while now, so. i'm 35 35. wow you look, look great, great. isn't you. that too young to be a cougar Zero and calories, what's that zero sugar. Taste I have on my tongue now. Could be uh, maybe the niacin. My product takes a unique approach on waking up in the morning. It's pretty much the only one of its kind. And so, inspired, I went home and I built the world's first alarm clock that actually wakes you up with bacon. You got no projections whatsoever. You got a pig box that's going to catch on fire and kill somebody. I'm going to be sued in the Stone Age. Hey, Maddie, I, I love the face of the pig. Do you have a slogan for this or anything? Rise and swine. <laughs> <laughs> and what we've realized is that when it comes to communication, medicine is not in the 21st century. You're not going to let him tell me how I make money. Because there's no chance of you making money on this. Sharks, with your investment, we will revolutionize the way we communicate in medicine. But most importantly, you'll help us get rid of these pagers and make some money doing it. It's a valid concern because you don't want to be reading about somebody that actually isn't a surgeon that's right. offering heart surgery. That would be a bad outcome. Absolutely. I don't think they'll be able to get anybody. It's going to be dangerous if we can't get any doctors. The greatest invention of all time, the arcade. <laughs> Ta -da! Drink, drink, and game. I don't want you to move one muscle. Oh, really? No, that's yeah. hard to do. Oh. It's starting to hurt. Let me have it. Hey, Beast, this is killing me. Now, where are you feeling that? Yeah, it's starting to burn. Can you walk with this? Walk, run, jog. My name is Darren Johnson, and I'm here today to explain the Ionic Ear Investment Opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> 
You guys are so close-minded. Please let him finish. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Where are you implanting this into a into another device? What are you implanting this no, into? No, it's actually going into your ear. Don't call me. I'll call you. I'm out. Okay. I appreciate that. Darren, here's here's insanity. Here's genius. You're somewhere. Not this one, not here today. That's not gonna happen. I'm out. At one point there was a, a fly crawling down the side of Mr. Wonderful's face as he was talking and it just kind of made its way into his mouth. In America, this is the land of opportunity and innovation and inventors like me are what will save America.